Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to the channel. So I got another workout video for you guys. Woo, another bettering myself. I will be entirely honest, I was supposed to make another one of these, I think like sometime in September. However, um, something happened to me that day and uh, I wasn't really gonna get an optimal amount of sleep. And I my, my anxiety was just, absolutely through the roof I hated it so I ended up going home dropping Louise off at the gym and then going home but I hated it because I didn't want to go home alone I wanted to be with him but he wanted to go to the gym and it was it was just overall bad and uh thankfully now things are better we kind of took a break from working out which I felt like absolute shit because of it but we are getting back to it today. Um, I haven't been feeling, I've been feeling kind of out of breath, uh, obviously due to the lack of the gym, but hopefully today we can fix all that. I know this is technically like an update for like a few days because I forgot to film, but I guess I can kind of catch you up on how everything's going. So in terms of weight, the last time I tried to get on the scale, it told me that the battery was low. So I still have to try and uh, find the battery that is compatible with my scale. They're fumigating in the US Bank near me, that's interesting. Anyway, so I still have yet to get on the scale. But my dress is getting hemmed, which means I'm not really allowed to lose any more weight in the next three weeks, but I don't think a pound or two will really make that big of a difference. So I'm going to go a little bit this month, but then starting in November, I'm going to try to get back to going four days a week again so I can get the body that I want, especially because there's a tattoo I really want to get on my ribs, and I unfortunately can't get that until I lose the weight. So that is like huge motivation for me to actually lose weight. And another thing too is that when Luis and I start having kids, I want to be skinny enough to be able to see my bump as it grows and not just kind of be like guessing when my bump is showing as someone who you know, is a little bit overweight. So that those are like my main goals to try to get skinny. The goal weight is 110. If I can get to 105, I'll be happy, but 110 is where we want to be. I'm currently about 50, last time I weighed myself, I think I was like 53 pounds away from that. It's quite a journey and it's going to take some time, but I have the patience and I have the drive and I'm going to do it. And I've been a lot better with eating out. I haven't eaten out as much, which has been really great. I've been feeling good. I've been eating more at home as, uh, as often as I can. I know some days it's a little bit harder, but I try not to eat out if I don't have to, if that makes any sense. But anyways, uh, we're going to pick Louise up. I have this beautiful pumpkin patch next to my house that the church runs. I don't personally go to that church, but it, I've always wanted to go to the pumpkin patch because it just looks like so much fun. Problem is, I don't know what time they fucking open. I think by the time this is posted, the wedding is probably about a week away, if not a little less than a week away. As of time of recording, the only thing that has happened so far in terms of the wedding itself, all the prep has finally been done. Everything is done, 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 done. I had my first bachelorette party on Monday, which I still need to get the pictures from my bridal shower from my mom because I have I've been lacking on that I'm gonna I'm gonna go through her phone and then just send myself the pictures I have the videos but I don't think I'll be able to post like to put those in because we were technically singing like Disney songs so it's like heavily copyrighted so even if I do put those in there they'll be like muted but either way I'm gonna try and make that video soon enough and then the week after I have one more bachelorette party and then I have my fifth anniversary with hubby on the 17th. But I, I have one last thing to purchase for the wedding, which is my bouquet. And I have to get two of them because of the little thing that my mother-in-law is planning. Basically, we wrap the roses with like cloth and like the one that turns out black amongst the white roses against my bouquet. Which I thought was a really cute idea. I'm very excited to see how that plays out. But anyways, on top of the anniversary, um, on Wednesday, this past Wednesday that uh, happened, I think it was like October 4th, I want to say, uh, hubby and I got our marriage license. Cannot believe how real this is actually getting. Like, it, it, it's crazy to think that, you know, two years ago he proposed and now we're about to say I do and it's absolutely crazy. I, 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 can't, I can't believe it. My only fear is that all my girls won't make it to the rehearsal dinner, which is very crucial because that's where we're going to be practicing 
the entire wedding itself and who's going to be walking down and it's, I'm just, I'm really fucking nervous because not all of them have been able to attend everything even though I've been giving one, everyone like a really big heads up. But even if all they attend is the rehearsal dinner and then the wedding, I will be happy. A lot of my girls have been attending as much as they can so I appreciate them so much for attending what they can. I know one is currently in Paris. I think she just got back. I don't know, but she was in Europe for a little bit, and I was so happy for her. She got to go to Euro Disney, and I was so fucking jealous. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it'll be fine. It'll be good. I'm just hoping that my girls all show up for the rehearsal, which I'm sure they will. I've told them how important it is and how crucial it is for them to be there, so. No doubt, no doubt they'll be there. Um, anyways, I think that's really all I have to say. It's been a very busy month. It's been a very hectic month. And I honestly just am so excited that the last little bit that we have to worry about is the fucking partying. So I'm going to have a good time. Hubby's going to have a good time. I don't know what the hell he's going to do on Monday, but I told him he needs to get out of the house somehow. 